Hi Buckles, if you are considering learning more about AWS, especially earning an AWS certificate, today's video is for you. I spent two months preparing for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam and passed it on my first attempt. In today's video, I will share with you exactly how I did it. If you are new here, I'm Moon, a machine learning engineer at Amazon. Before working as a machine learning engineer, I was a biology student. By the time I started preparing for this exam, I had only six months of work experience and not much in AWS. In today's video, I will discuss is it worth your time to earn this certificate, how I prepared it in two months, and what you can do with this certificate besides including it in your resume. Well, it's nice to have a certificate and be knowledgeable about the technology in general. If you don't see how this certificate contributes to your long-term goal, you probably will become demotivated after a while. So figuring out your why is the first step. And here are the four reasons I had for earning this certificate. First, looking at the overall landscape, if a business wants to stay competitive, unless you are working in government, cloud service is inevitable. Because of this, learning about cloud service became inevitable for engineers. If I want to stay in this industry for long, I need to include it in my toolbox as an engineer. Second, out of all the certificates for cloud services, AWS SAA seems to have the highest ROI for beginners. It's not the hardest one, but it has architect in its name. Since I was such a beginner, it didn't matter much where I started. Once I got familiar with AWS, it won't be that hard if I need to pick up GCP or Azure one day. Third reason, the exam exposed me to problems and technologies outside of my day-to-day -day work. Back then, my day job was around data pipeline and recommendation system in a startup. There were only limited amount of services and level of complexity that make sense for a startup. So learning about what AWS services provide is a way for me to peep into problems from other companies. The last reason is it stacks up my credibility if I want to change my job or work as a freelancer in the future. If you are working in a big tech and enjoy working there, this may not be the best expense of your time. Because big techs only use internal tools, if you don't plan to live your corporate life, digging deep into the internal services will help you deliver more than spending time on certificates. With that all being said, all certificates have their limitation. Your career growth doesn't depend on how you acquire the knowledge, but how you apply the knowledge. So don't be a certificate collector. This exam prep took me 40 hours over two months. The only course I used was a Cloud Guru. They have a dedicated course in AWS certificates. I also downloaded an Android app to practice questions, but it didn't use much as I hoped. In the beginning, I treated my study same as how a salesperson memorizes a product catalog. Then I got bored and overwhelmed because memorizing hundreds of services just wasn't fun. So I took a month long break during this break, I realized my issue wasn't about the memorization, but the memorization without connection. A great salesman need to have a good understanding of their products, but more importantly, they have a great understanding of their customers. Therefore, I took a step back. Instead of focusing on each AWS service, I started thinking more about first, the problem space, and second, the relationship between services. Then things started to click more. Although there are hundreds of services, but the combinations of these services given a business problem is very limited. This doesn't eliminate my work to understand each service, but having a way to hold all the services and features together allows me to have a more holistic view when thinking about the solutions. In the end, I got more used to the sheer numbers and the complexities Amazon services have and took more time asking questions on Stack Overflow and draw a diagram to solidify my understanding. The questions on the real exam were about the same level as those I saw on a Cloud Guru and Android app. So if you did your study using those two, you shouldn't need to worry too much on the day of the exam. 
Certification is a great way to prove your expertise to your future employer or clients. But there is a more value to it besides just including it in your resume. First, you can claim and share your digital badge immediately. This sounds trivial, but I didn't claim my badge until a year after my exam. It turned out my AWS certification account is messed up with my Amazon Prime account, and I'm still in my process of getting my badge back. The second benefit is you will get a 50% discount for your next level of AWS exam. But this discount will only last for two years after you pass this exam. So don't wait for too long to get back on your study mode again. The next benefit is you can apply to become a subject matter expert and help AWS develop exams. You can also join AWS certified global community and connect with other AWS practitioners. The very last one is you can create content for people who are only one step behind you. When you just finished your learning, you are in a better position to explain to another beginner than someone with more experience. Because experienced folks tend to be unconsciously competent, which means they will skip a lot of details in the context that can confuse the beginners. I hope you find this video helpful. It's been a year since I passed my exam. If there is something you would like to know but I didn't mention in this video, please leave it in comment. If you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy the another video where I shared my experience how I landed my first machine learning engineer job without a degree. See you next time.